what they faced tonight was the full court press, wasn't it, by Richmond. It was so difficult for them, the Bulldogs, to keep the ball in their own forward line. And they learned very quickly that many Richmond attacks start on the half back line. They're going to have to find a way to keep the ball forward. And one way to keep it forward is probably not playing Shacky. Yeah, he had a pretty miserable game, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was surprised that they selected him. But the fact that he stood up there as that third tall forward, obviously they wanted to mimic what English has done. But he didn't provide the aerial threat. And he made exiting that forward line just even more comfortable for the Richmond fleet-footed defenders like Short, like Broad. So I don't think they'll go down that route again. He's got, um, I mean, it's been talked about a lot, but his lack of physical presence, I think if you're a key forward and you're not getting your hands on the footy, you've got to be able to contribute in some way, whether it's throwing your weight around in the packs or, you know, just putting on some blocks and shepherds or whatever. But he just, he seems to rely so heavily on confidence that if he's not getting the footy, he can't contribute in any facet of the game at all. And Geez, you, you've got to think his number's just about up in terms of his career. When he got t- he went for a one, um, one-handed one mark in that third quarter and Richmond swept the ball down the other end and kicked a goal. He was mm. taken off the field and quickly put onto the phone to Luke Beveridge. Are you allowed to say you're not home when that phone call, when they hand you the phone? Can uh, you it's f- bit, well, it's a bit, ha- bit hard with the TV cameras there. I think they might sort of give the game away. He was certainly there in body, if not spirit.